a very good morning friends let us learn today about patak repertory to begin with let us understand the base of the patak repertory how it is built so basically this patak repertory is based on bogar synoptic key now the main question is when to use patak repertory in what type of cases so we have to use this repertory in cases where genius is very prominent and what do we mean by genius so it is given very nicely in the preface of bogar synoptic key it is a strain which runs through every pathogenic symptoms complex that is called genius of the drug which means that strain we will find in the physical aspect in the mental aspect in particular symptoms so in each and every symptoms we will find that particular thing for example the symptom dragging in cpr when we read it from bogar synoptic key the first word we see is draggy what do we mean by that in bogar synoptic key so when we read the symptoms from the source book of cpr then we will see in all the aspects of cpr the dragging sensation is there may it be the physical symptoms may be a general symptom or we very well know the mental symptom of cpr that she feels dragged against her own will so in this way we understand the genius so the main principle of using fatak repertory is to generalize the local symptoms now the origin of fatak repertory so it is basically from kbc not kon banega karodpati it's kant bogar and clark so the fatak repertory is basically based from all the three books kant bogar and clark and each and every remedy given in the rubrics of fatak are clinically verified by dr fatak himself so i would like to share some of my experience how i started using this fatak repertory so this was a case in my college opd cmp homeopathic medical college it is known to be one of the best homeopathic college in the world so this was the case a patient had come with some gastric complaint but this was the follow up he was given some remedy and he had come for the follow up so usually one intern takes the follow up and he presented it to the consultant so his follow up was taken and presented to the consultant so the same remedy the patient was not much well with the remedy so but still same remedy was repeated to him so but when the patient was leaving from the opd he came back again suddenly and said doctor i forgot to tell you one symptom many a times i have this feeling that he showed this with the hand gesture that my heart is coming down so the consultant said okay you take the remedy you will be better but uh, something stuck to me that this is something different we have to find it out so i was having patak repertory in my hand and i started reading patak repertory so how to search this in patak repertory so go to the chapter heart and then i started reading the sub rubrics from the chapter heart then i came across something which struck me like you will also see heart and the sub rubric drawn down as if it was exactly how the patient described his symptom so i showed this symptom to the consultant 
and he was also amazed looking at this symptom and then he prescribed him thuja and in the next follow up the patient was much better so in fatak repertory we should know and that how the symptom is given in the repertory otherwise we won't be able to find it i would like to share another case from the college opd this was from the ent opd so we have ent consultant visiting the opd for their opinions so this was a case but uh, the consultant was due to some reason not able to come on that day so the patient asked me whether i could help him in some way so i asked him what is happening so he said there is doctor tremendous pain in my ear so i examined the ear there was lot of wax in his ears so i asked him what else happening to you so he said doctor this is something strange i noticed whenever i speak something i hear my own voice so again this was something very peculiar so i was newly using the fatak repertory so i thought let's find out if we have something like this in the fatak repertory and he had some other symptom like uh, now so i searched this first symptom we go to the main rubric here and start reading the sub rubrics so i found this something interesting in the fatak repertory in the chapter years we see echo in and the sub rubric words once own so this was exactly what the patient was saying that whenever he speaks he hears his own voice so the remedy given is sarsa parila and his other symptom was this he was having chronic nose obstruction since years so when we see this in pata crepotry years echo in words once own and this other complaint nose obstructed chronic we see only one remedy coming sarsa parila so i gave him sarsa parila 30 and within a week's time the patient came back his pain was much better and there was the wax was not there completely so after these cases i found found that fatak repertory is very useful in pathological cases in acute especially for the beginners so then i started reading more about it and finding out more peculiar symptoms so let us go through some of the gems which are there in the repertory which we are not aware of so this is the symptom given in the preface of fatak's repertory attitude bizarre now what does this mean attitude bizarre so when we read it means strange the meaning of attitude bizarre is strange so when we read that how this symptom came and how patak coined it in with the rubric attitude bizarre so we put the word strange in the reference work and then one of the main remedies as you can see given in this rubric attitude bizarre is plumbum so we put strange in reference work and read in the remedy plumbum what is given so here we can see assumes strangest attitude and position then again we have inclination to take strangest attitude position screams and assumes the strangest positions strange delusion strange everything is so like i said earlier so in each and every aspect of that remedy plumbum we see this thing strange so that's how he has taken the remedy into the rubric attitude bizarre so he has generalized it 
likewise we have another rubric awkwardness and what we see the main remedies in this rubric apis mellifica and capsicum so again we have to study how this remedies are given in the rubric and what does it exactly mean so when we take this rubric awkwardness and we search it where in the source book it is given and how it is taken so we put this word awkward in the reference work and read it so in the remedy capsicum we see in bold it is given everything like awkward then we see awkward that she runs into everything awkwardness lower limbs knocks into things then in the mind section we see awkward so in each and every aspect of the remedy capsicum this awkward symptom we see everywhere so that's how this remedy is included in the rubric awkward